Last night here in the state of Florida saw uh, Rick Scott become the second Republican governor to uh, win a second term. The first, Jeb Bush. That's it. He won by 70,000 votes. That separated uh, Governor Scott from Charlie Crist. Um, and uh, it was uh, about 11.30 when Rick Scott took to the podium. Uh, sh soon thereafter, Democrat Charlie Crist took the stage in St. Petersburg to address his supporters. Losing is not fun, but what, what is most important is that we come together as a state. This was a tough election, and I understand that. And I wish Governor Scott the best. And as you know, for me, it's never really been about right versus left. It's really been about right versus wrong. And I hope as Floridians, as we go forward... We can focus on that and work together. Well, it was a gracious uh, uh, speech last night to his supporters. Uh, uh, so was Governor Scott's. But, uh, boy, this was a bruising campaign. And the question is, can they all come together? And what happens now that you've got a, a, a Republican legislature, you've got a Republican governor? Will we see changes in public pensions? Will we see a difference in school vouchers, for example? Where do we go here? More business development money, we were, here, we were told. Here to talk about uh, those types of things, Dr. Kevin Walsh, a political science professor at Broward College and an expert on campaigns. Good morning to you, Doctor. Thanks for joining us again. Hey, thanks, Jimmy. I appreciate you asking me to be on. Yeah, I, well, this was one ugly campaign. Uh, in your experience, do the parties put this aside, or is it much more difficult to do? Well, you, you mean more on the state level or the national level? Uh, I think both, but here in the state particularly. Yeah, again, I think on the national level it's going to be more difficult. I think there's going to be more partisan rancor uh, between uh, Congress and President Obama. At the state level, uh, you know, you have unified government. You have a majority in the Republicans in Tallahassee pretty much running the show. So, uh, you know, I think, I think you're, going to, uh, you're going to see progress, but it may not be the kind of progress that uh, diehard liberals would like to see. Yeah. All right, let's talk about that national case. The president last night, during the, the election night, which I thought unusual, decided he would call uh, for uh, both uh, chambers and both parties to come to the White House on Friday. I thought that was really strange during the middle of, uh, of election night, didn't you? Yeah, I think uh, it was a little bit presumptuous, uh, and it, it, uh, it was odd. Usually that's the kind of ovation that you get later in the evening, if not the next day. Right. To, uh, to wait and see how things really uh, bear out in the evening. So, yeah, it just shows you that the, the politics is never-ending, and it's, it's a, it's, there's a strategy to constantly uh, keep the upper hand with the opposition. All right. Now this all shifts to the presidential election just two years away, and the question is, did the American public look and say they just wanted to get all incumbents out of office? Did the Clintons get hurt last night? by their continual you know, foray across the country and trying to help Democratic candidates yet get beaten badly, especially in their home state of Arkansas. And uh, did we see a Republican, maybe a John Kasich, jump onto the national stage? Yes, it's, uh, you know, a lot of that will, uh, the tale will be told in the, in the next two years, but it certainly was a, a bruising defeat for the, the Democratic Party. I'm not so much. I'm not so sure about Hillary. I think she can rebound. I think she's the presumptive favorite for the Democrats. Uh, she's got a ground game in all 50 states. She's uh, she's ready to go pretty much. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I think John Kasich may have emerged as a uh, viable candidate. You know, the the field for the Republicans looks kind of uh, somewhat predictable. I think Jeb Bush. Uh, actually uh, is gearing up for a presidential run. It would be interesting to see a Bush versus Clinton grudge match. Yeah. Uh, maybe, as, as you suggested, maybe John Kasich might be a, uh, a better candidate. Obviously, both Florida and Ohio are, are uh, key swing states. I mean, these are battleground states that the Republicans have to have. Jeb would help in Florida, Kasich, obviously, in Ohio. But they have to, obviously, uh, appeal to a much broader base and the Republican Party has their, you know, they have their work cut out for them as far as appealing to a, uh, you know, a broad cross-section of Americans. Right. Dr. Walsh, in our last 30 seconds, why did Democrats have such a hard time getting the vote out in South Florida here, allowing Rick Scott to win another four more years? You know, I think the bottom line is that 
the Democratic base was not energized and enthusiastic about Charlie Crist. They, they see him as a politician, as, a, as someone who was a Republican when he couldn't win as a Republican. He became a Democrat out of expediency. I just don't think there was real enthusiasm on the, uh, on the part of the, the, the base of the Democratic Party. The, the, the get-out-the-vote campaign just fell way short. Uh, I think Obama's unpopularity, even though it wasn't emphasized in the state election, I think it had, a, uh, I think it had an effect. And it, it may very well have uh, had an effect on the Democratic base, because perhaps if Obama had shown up in South Florida, he may have been able to uh, bring some enthusiasm to those voters. I think a lot of minority voters, particularly African Americans, saw that Charlie Chris kind of shunned Obama, didn't want him around, treated him like he was toxic, radioactive, whatever. And I think that was uh, perhaps insulting. Yeah, good point. It was tough. It was a tough, uh, Charlie had a tough game to play. If you bring Obama in, he's going to be a lightning rod to energize the Republican base. If you don't bring Obama in, it's a slap in the face to the Democratic Party base. Yeah, you're right about that. Hey, Kim, uh, thank you so much for joining us. We do appreciate your time. Hopefully we'll talk again. Okay, thanks, Jim. See you now. Uh, Dr. Kevin Walsh from uh, Broward College.